now that we're comfortable centering, it's time to move on to step number one, which is opening the hole. Remember, do not open the hole until you're completely centered. Remember, just get some water on the material, water on your hands, tuck your right elbow into your hip. Make sure it's anchored, meaning it's not moving back and forth. Have a flat side and a dome top. You really wanna apply pressure forward and down and hold just for three to five seconds. At this point, the material gets sticky after three to five seconds, so it's important just to let go and add more water. Equal pressure on both sides of the material are gonna get this material to center. If you can, go ahead and pull and push at the same time while always applying a little bit of pressure down. And then reverse by pushing harder with your left. And then slowly relax. It's really important to, to not let go too quickly or this is gonna happen. You're pushing forward and down and then you let go quickly and the clay reacts. So just keep your hand steady and slowly release. Now that it's centered, we're gonna open the hole. There's many different ways to do this, like, like every technique in ceramics. But I like this A-OK -okay in my right hand, left thumb together, push really hard. Have your fingers gliding along the back of the material. Make sure they're not moving in a circle. That's when it becomes catastrophic. If your fingers are moving in a circle on the way down, you're really gonna to have to start over. Go down about a half inch or so, add some more water. And then you can be as aggressive as you want. How much clay you leave at the bottom depends on what you're making. In this case, I'm making a, a cylinder. And so I really wanna just leave anywhere from a quarter to a half inch of clay. You can use a needle tool to test the thickness. Put the needle tool down to the wheel head. Put your finger down to the clay. Pull it up, and that's just about right. I may go down just a little bit more. I'll go ahead and cut this right in the middle to show you what this looks like. You can see we have a nice well. My finger went down to this depth, and that's just about right. And now we're gonna be making a hook for step number two and pulling out. But I'm gonna show you another technique for opening the hole. There's so many different types. Now that we're centered, I usually prefer to do this method. It's very stable, but some people love to just use two thumbs together Fingers still gliding, elbows down. This method works really well. Or some people just like to go in with one middle finger, kind of back it up with your other, other hand for stability. That way works really well. You can just go in with index finger and thumb. You can go with just index finger, just thumb. Or people call this the gun method. You go in at an angle. One thing you don't want to do when you're opening the hole is really just have your elbows up and drill straight down. That's just asking for trouble. No matter how you do it, make sure you go right down the middle and leave about a quarter to a half inch of clay at the bottom. And now we're ready to move on to step number two.